uh, uh, Dave uh, from uh, Basketball Digest. Kevin, uh, uh, KD, why, why do people call you KD? Um, Can I call you KD? Or? Yeah. Okay. My, my first name is Kevin. Uh huh. Dave. Right. And my second name, my last right, right name. My second name. My last name is Durant with a D. KD? Uh, this year, how, what percentage do you plan on giving on the court? 90, 95, 100, 110? What are we looking at? Uh, 110. 110? 110. Uh, I just got off the phone with the Dolan family. And they said that they're talking to the commissioner now. They're looking at working a contractual deal that will allow you, uh, when you're not playing for the Nets, days off, you'll be able to play for the Knicks. Comments? All right, Dave, that was the last one. Co I'm sorry, was that a comment? Co that was it. How about you? Do you have a comment? Wrap it up. Okay. Uh, I'm being told my time is done. Have a, have a great uh, year. Thank what about the sir. Pelicans? When you guys play the Pelicans, does it kind of make you giggle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. That's all I got. That's it, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Okay. There you go. Good job, dude. <laughs> I, go. I have to go make some calls now. Tough act to follow. We'll go to Brian Mahoney, Associated Press. We let anybody in here. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kevin, a, a lot of people, you know, going to last year, you had a major injury. People weren't quite sure where you would be. Uh, now people say you're the best player in the league again already. Um, you know, with a regular, you know, time to actually play basketball over the summer, where do you expect to be, you know, by the end of this season now? I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to predict. I don't know. I mean, I mean, keep keep getting better. I mean, you guys have been seeing me for 15 years. Um, I mean, so you probably probably can project where I'll be at the end of the season, you know. So I don't think we need to do that with my game anymore. It is what it is. And, um, you know, I just want to be available for my team every night. Tina Servacio, Fox 5. Hey, Kevin, good to see you. So when you look at what Sean Marks did over the offseason, whether it's bringing back LaMarcus Aldridge from retirement or uh, you know, resigning Blake Griffin as well as your extension, what are your thoughts on this, this roster and how does it play into your goals, of course, of winning the championship? Yeah, I like the roster. Um, you know, we like the guys that we put together, a lot of veteran guys mixed in with a couple young guys that are hungry for this experience in the NBA, and then we got veteran guys who've been through a lot as well. So, and also having some returning players helps. Um, so we want to keep keep building this um, culture and keep fine tuning who we are as a team every single day and see who we are at the end of the season. But um, what we have on paper is cool, but we gotta we still gotta get out in between the lines and play. Gerard Hector, True Hoop. Hey, Kevin, I want to take you away from basketball for a bit. The last few months, we've had a lot of rollouts of music. Drake certified lover boy, Kanye's Donda, Kendrick's dropped something, Lil Nas X. How do you feel about how these artists now are releasing their music and the way they're promoting albums these days? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I feel like they had to have more control over their art. Um, and, you know, that's, as an artist, that's really what you want. And so you're seeing a lot of these guys just create moments around their albums and it's a great time for music great time for sports and you know it feels like everything is you know playing playing off of each other so you know um, it's been a great summer for music brian windhorse espn hello kevin um kyrie is not here today there's this law here in new york um with health and safety <coughs> protocols are you concerned about his availability at home games going forward no so you expect that not to be an issue? I expect it not to be. I don't mean, I'm, that's, that's on Kyrie, and that's his personal decision. What he does is not on us to speculate what, what may happen, but we trust in Kyrie, and I expect us to have our whole team at some point. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kevin. Sean said when LaMarcus first called him about coming back, you know, he tried to initially talk him out of it and said he didn't need to do this. I'm just curious what your conversations were like with him when he was thinking about a comeback and, and his talk about there being unfinished business. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, you know, supported LaMarcus and whatever he wanted to do, and I trust every, I trust his judgment on his on his life, you know. So if he, I'm sure he went through uh, every checkup, you know, to make sure he's he's right to play. And it was great to see him in the locker room. It was great to have him back, and you know, we love having him around last year for those couple of weeks and. Um, he felt like this was a great environment as well, so it's good to to, to get him back and uh, have him playing again. I, he was like 49 points away from 20,000, and I was like, you know, I want him to get that, you know, so for him to be back with us uh, and probably hit that mark pretty early in the season, I'm looking forward to being a part of that with him, and so good to see him playing again. He, I know how much I was known Lamarcus for a long time, and he loves to play. He loves to be around the guys, and I'm excited for him. Scooby Axon, USA Today. Another question away from the season. Um, it's been 10 years since you uh, showed up at Rucker Park and just obliterated everyone. Uh, what are your memories of that? And of course, the Players Union is now renovating Rucker Park. Can you tell me what's that gonna mean to the NBA and the kids around that neighborhood? Yeah, that's a special place, a historic place. You know, a lot of great players who've um, played in the NBA and who haven't played in the NBA, street ball legends have graced that court. And uh, it's good that they're renovating it. And, refurbishing it and trying to keep that legacy alive. It's meant so much to the basketball community, especially here in New York, and not just in New York, around the world. You know, that's a that's a huge name, you know, Rucker Park, and so many great memories. So um, I'm excited that, that the uh, NBA, MBPA is doing that, and uh, looking forward to seeing how it finishes. Lisa Shu, Tencent. Hi, Kevin, you used to say, I'm so tired of being number two. And now, like, it seems like more and more people realize or saying that you're the best player of the world. So do you feel like, okay, finally, people realize who I am, I'm Kevin Durant? I mean, a lot of people, I said that one time in an interview and, uh, 10 years ago. A lot of people make it seem like I've been saying that over and over again that I don't want to be second. I literally said it once, and it really wasn't about me being the best player. It was about us winning the championship because we had lost that year. So I wanted to win the championship. So me being the best player, like you said, just last year people were questioning if I can actually play again, and now this year people are calling me the best. Like, those opinions really don't matter. It's just everybody's fickle when it comes to that stuff. So... I know what I bring to the table. My teammates and coaches know what I bring. And the true fans that love the game, that genuinely love the game, understands uh, my, what I carved out in the league. So that's cool enough for me.